This is the new Pentair Whisperflow VS pump. Uh, they had the old Hayward North Star for their primary pump that went out. It had a, a cracked housing. So they went ahead and replaced it with the Pentair Whisperflow VS. So it's nice because they have the Pentair Easy Touch uh, with Screen Logic automation system. So they're able to control their equipment, their heat pump, their pump, and their lights with their phone. Um, the one thing is if you're going to be setting up a whisper flow with an automation, the drive has to be set up. You have to connect your comm cable, your data cable, and connect it with the green and yellow wire to your easy touch system. But there's a couple of steps you have to take to get this set up for that. Uh, first thing, you've got to set up the time. So you'll hit display and hold it and the time will blink and you set the time to the correct time. Then you hit and hold display again, then hit speed one, set the run time for zero, zero RPMs, and then set the time for 24 hours to run for 24 hours. Then submit that. And then once you've done that, then you set the priming to zero. You shut off the priming. And now everything is done through the automation system. On the automation side, for the Pentair Whisper Flow VS, you will go into menu. You go down to settings over, go down to IntelliFlow, click over on pump one, and the pump type, this is very important, you want it to be VS. It can't be the VSF, it has to be labeled VS. Then you can go in and set your speeds. Speed one is set for pool, which we have it at 30, 50 RPMs. Speed two is our low. 1700 what's really cool about this pump is you can also check on the status right now it's running on high speed it's pulling 1300 watts of electricity so it's a really cool feature and your customers can really dial it in or if you're a homeowner you can really dial in your pump to run very efficiently and optimize the technology you have variable speed pumps in my opinion, especially with a pool like this that has an in-floor cleaning system, they have the ANA in-floor cleaning heads. It's underneath this fake rock here. Water travels through this valve here, rotates the gears so that each zone will come up. Right now it's up on the steps. But what's important with this is if you have a variable speed pump, we highly recommend dialing it in so that high speed runs for about five to six hours every day and then run your low speed for 10 to 12 hours on low speed that pump is pulling about 200 watts of electricity what happens when you run high speed first you're kicking up all the particles and you're getting them suspended in the water and some of it's going to get filtered through your main drain and the skimmer itself but as you do that it kicks up all the particles and then it will go into low speed then low speed will slowly circulate the water and filter it slowly through the filter, which in my opinion will capture some of those particles a little better. It will take more time because you're pushing less water, but in our opinion, it does filter better because you're not just blowing that water through that filter. Um, the other benefit of running your pump, a lot of times people don't want to run it in the middle of the day because that's when electricity is the most expensive. But the thing is at 200 watts of electricity, on low speed, that's like leaving on a few light bulbs in the house. It's really not that much power that you're using. And there's so many benefits to it. When you have movement on the water, you see how the water is moving. That prevents the UV rays from penetrating through the water and burning up your chlorine. That's one of the biggest culprits we have in the, in the desert here is the sun. It just literally burns up our chlorine. So when there's movement on the water, it actually starts to deflect the UV rays. It's harder for it to penetrate through. 
And the hottest part of the day is when the electricity is the most expensive, so everybody wants to shut it off. And then the water is flat and stagnant, and that's when the sun can really be brutal on it. So optimize the technology you have with a variable speed pump, and you will be happy with the results. Your water will be healthier, cleaner, and safer to swim in. And that's our video for today.